The flipped classroom model reverses the traditional learning environment by delivering instructional content outside of the classroom. This makes room for activities that may have traditionally been considered homework into the classroom. This model was developed in the early 2000s by Jonathan Bergman and Aaron Sams, educators at Woodland Park High School in Colorado. They created video lectures that students would watch at home at their own pace. Then, the classroom time was used for discussion, practice, and collaboration between teachers and students. The concept is simple. Students engage with new material at home before class, and class time is devoted to engaging more deeply with the content through discussions, problem solving, and guided practice facilitated by the teacher. This approach leverages the face-to-face -face class time more effectively to create interactive learning experiences where the teacher can provide more personalized guidance and support. For instance, in a math class, students might watch a video lecture at home and then solve problems in class where the teacher can offer immediate feedback and assistance. In a humanities class, students might read or view a lecture about a historical event at home and then engage in class discussions or projects that deepen their understanding and allow them to apply what they've learned. The strengths of the flipped classroom model are notable. It promotes student engagement and deeper learning. Students often find it more motivating as they take an active role in their learning process. It also allows teachers to use class time more effectively to enhance the learning experience. They can spend more time interacting with students, providing support, and addressing individual and small group needs. However, the flipped classroom model is not without its criticisms. One major concern is the dependence on students' access to technology and the internet at home to watch pre-recorded lectures or access reading materials. This can be a significant barrier in lower income areas. Another criticism is that not all students might have the discipline to prepare for class on their own time. Lastly, students may find that they don't understand the introductory materials they are asked to engage with at home. When this occurs, there is no teacher available to help them out until class the next day, when the teacher may expect the students have successfully consumed and understood all the content in their own time. Despite its challenges, the flipped classroom continues to be a dynamic approach to education reshaping how students interact with material and engage with their teachers and peers.